Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 548. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 539 to 550. In 548, we want to do data validation drop down list. Now, I've done this at least 100 other times in the 1,000 videos posted, but I've never done just a video on this. So I want to do just a video. Now, here's our list of products, and we want to put a drop down list here. Now, in this first example, the list is on the same sheet as where we're doing data validation drop down. So we can just open up data validation. The keyboard shortcut is Alt DL. Alt DL. Settings usually comes up. Tab to get to Allow What. I'm going to hit L to jump to L. There's a lot of cool things that. Um, data validation can do but list and then tab source that's just is you can actually type in D comma T comma Y right like that and then click OK and now we have a uh, list here right and sometimes that's appropriate like yes no where you don't need to waste spreadsheet uh, space to do that alt DL I don't want um, to type it in. Anytime you see something like that, it means you can get something from the sheet. So I'm just going to highlight this. And maybe an input message if you wanted to. That means when they click in the cell, something would pop up. But let's put an error alert. Um, please use, I'm such a bad typer, uh, select item from drop down. How about that? How many words did I spell wrong? Copy and then paste up here. Uh, there's different levels. Stop means it's not going to, um, you're not allowed to put it in. Uh, warning um, means they, if they click the, the button, it, they can put it in. Inform, information means it'll still go in. They're just giving them information. We're going to do stock because we don't want it in there. Click OK. So now, um, by the way, data validation right now, there's a T in there, but it's not supposed to be in there. If you copy and paste something in on top of data validation, it won't work. Also, if something's in in the first place, uh, formulas, auditing, um, where is data validation? I guess it's under data. Data validation, they moved it from years ago. I know all the keyboard shortcuts, I have no idea where. There's data validation, and then uh, circle invalid data. So if you get a spreadsheet, oh, and it's circled. As soon as we uh, put this in, it doesn't go away, so now we have to remove the circle. Circle Data, data validation, clear validation circles. All right, so now we have this, and the cool thing about this is, is uh, if we change this to, Carlo to 25. Now our list automatically updates because it's linked. Now uh, I want to show you how to do a data validation drop. So we've seen how to type the values in, how to get them from the sheet, but what if they're over here? You're not allowed to do that unless you name the item. So I want to name these uh, columns here, and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut for this uh, create names from selection. Control Shift F3, and what it does is, as long as you have your name at the top, it'll name this right here products. Click OK. Now we can come. Um, Control F3, Control F3, or formulas, define names, name manager. Control F3 works in earlier version. That gives you a list of your names, and you can come here and edit it if you have to, if you make a mistake. All right now, Alt DL. Tab L L Tab, and now I don't remember the name. You, if you knew, remembered it, you could just type products, right? I think that's it. But I never remember my name, so I'm going to use the F3 key, and it gives you a paste. Notice Control Shift F3 uh, creates names from selection. All the F3, a lot of the F3 key tricks have to do with names, so that's just F3, and then you can click on it, click OK. Click OK, and so now we have this coming from the other sheet here. Now, uh, a very often uh, used uh, function with this is, hey, I want to look up the price, so we use VLOOKUP. Lookup value, hey, I need to look up my Carlota 25, and I need you to find that in the first column of my table array. So there it is, it races through here and it finds that, and then comma, 
column index, hey, column one, column two, where is the price? It's in column two, so you just type a two, comma. These, these words are not alphabetically sorted, so we're going to have to say, um, you can't see it's off the screen, but it's either true or false. False is an exact match. There it is, exact match. That means it's going to look for the exact uh, phrase. And instead of false, I'm going to put 0. So there we have, um, if we change this right here, it'll change. And so data validation drop down list is very convenient. Now, uh, one last thing. Uh, this right here is uh, supposed to be looking at the other sheet because this is um, to the uh, looking at the other sheet. Now, when we did this, that name, uh, the tables on the list, the other sheet, so we had to name it. But here, when we are getting um, cell references for a formula function, you can just go to the other sheet. So I'm going to click on source, and I'm going to highlight this table right here. Notice up here it puts source, the sheet name, and then the cell references there, and then enter. So if I select, uh, let's go get rid of this 25 here. So now what's happening? That data validation um, is not correct. If we turn the circles on, it would show us. And this is giving me an NA. I'm simply going to change this. Again, that is a drawback of data validation. But now we can see this one, this little system here is looking at this table, whereas this system is looking over to this table where the price is different. So that's a data validation drop down list. You can type them in. You can do them from the sheet, a different sheet. You can put a uh, value here. If I hit enter, finally, that comes up. It's a select item from drop down. So if you type it in, it, uh, it's not going to let you. Uh, in our next video, we'll see dynamic data validation list. And then the final uh, 50 will do a data validation based on a different data validation drop down list. All right, we'll see you next trick.